How you doing? It's uh, Lindsay Drummond here from Shine Your Light. Uh, this will be the first of my video blogs. Uh, as you can see, I've got no makeup on, so it's obviously been a little last minute decision here to do this. Um, so I thought um, tonight the blog will be all about self pampering. Because I've decided, uh, I haven't washed my hair in about, I don't know, four days or something. So it's pretty bad. And it's got like all the um, hairspray flecks in it. So it looks like I've got dandruff. It's great. Um, so I've decided I'm going to wash my hair tonight. That's a bit of a luxury for me. Uh, have a nice shower. But what I want to do is have a nice facial. Um, maybe put some cucumbers on my eyes. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, their cucumbers are good to, for your eyes. Um, I was thinking maybe a honey mask, real honey, you know. Um, I was thinking maybe I'll give myself a little manicure, um, maybe even a pedicure, who knows? Maybe even a pedicure. You know, it's good to just go with your instincts. When you feel like you need a bit of pampering, it's usually your body telling you, hey, I need some pampering. You know, it's rocket science. Um, it's important for us to, to give ourselves time for ourselves. The thing is, you know, if you don't look after yourself, you really can't look after anybody else. And I know it sounds like a cliche, but it is true. You know, when you're on a flight, when you're on an airline, and they say, you know, if we're in an emergency, masks will drop from the ceiling, fit your own mask before you fit someone else's. I mean, there is a reason for that. If you pass out because you didn't put your mask on first, you can't really help anyone else. Um, so you always fit your own mask first before you pass your mask on to someone else. Because if you don't nurture yourself, you don't look after yourself. You're not really in a great position to be able to help anybody else, you know? I was speaking to somebody today who was saying she just wants to get in the car and just drive and then wherever she ends up, she wants to be and then she wants to get a hotel or... or caravan or something and just take some time just be alone not answer the phone and just take some nurturing time and I said do it do it just go out and do it so like, oh but what will happen if this happens what will happen if that happens and I'm like well obviously the world will explode and life as we know it will be finished you know this is how we get sometimes I think we tend to to over importance our role in life okay so don't sacrifice your own well-being don't sacrifice your own nurturing just because of the perception that life can't go on, can't function without you there. You know, I used to be like that years ago when I was a control freak. I'm not saying I'm still not a, not a control freak in certain areas, but it was pretty bad at one stage. So my message to you today in this blog, your message for the day is to look after yourself in whatever way it is that you would like to look after yourself, whether that be take yourself out for 20 minutes to a nice cafe and have a nice coffee or a tea and a nice cake and just think about maybe your dreams and write them down if that's what you want to do or if you want to do like my friend did and just get in the car and just drive and take a journal and write your thoughts, we'll do that. Or maybe you want to, like me, you want to just have a night, a nice Sunday night where you sit in front of the TV and you have a nice facial and you have maybe some nice strawberries. I didn't get any, damn, um, but I think I've got lamingtons. Uh, Lamingtons, TV, something I don't have to think too much about, a really nice facial, a really nice manicure, something really, really nice. Never, ever, ever underestimate the importance of looking after yourself. Remember, like Wayne Dyer said a lot of the time, nobody could ever become sick enough to heal someone else. Okay, when you feel like crap, you're not actually helping other people, you know? If you, I think mum said something today about, you know, if you, if you have, if you're looking after somebody on crutches, you feeling bad for them and walking on crutches as well, it doesn't actually heal them. It doesn't actually make them feel better. Don't let yourself walk on crutches. Always look after yourself. You deserve the best. And I mean that. It's true. We all deserve the best. We do. Nurture yourself, you know, as if a mother would nurture a child. Because, you know, there's still that inner child within you. There's still that child there just waiting to be looked after, who sometimes we forget about, you know. So if your heart's telling you to go on a little journey, if your heart's telling you 
to do something special for yourself. If your heart's telling you to start something new, maybe a hobby or an interest or a business or whatever, just do it. You know, as Nike would say, just do it. Don't put it off because you probably won't. So tonight, you know, even though I didn't feel like putting the camera on, you know, and, and telling you about this, but I'm passionate about this. I did. I didn't say, yeah, well, I couldn't do it next week. No, I'm going to do it now. And right now, I'm going to turn the camera off and I'm going to go have that shower. <laughs>